Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Hearts of Iron Fork. Hi, Zurich, playing as the Dominion of Canada. Suzerain of a very fragmented New England because the United States of America betrayed my trust and refused to join the Entente, which means now I need to kill them. Well, I mean, it may be a little bit hard to do that. We'll see. Actually, if I recall correctly, the United States is extremely weak following the, um, the Civil War. It takes them like two years to build up. Then they become unbelievably strong again. But it takes a while. So even right now, I think they have effectively no troops. And by no troops, I mean like less than 10 armies or divisions. So I think that once the Second World War begins, Italy joining the Third International is not surprising, but still sucks. Once the world tension goes up from the Second Weltkrieg, I think we start justifying on these guys and see if we can take them out fast before they have a chance to rebuild. Then we feed all of it off to New England. Hence why I'm now pulling all these troops away from Portugal, because I don't think we actually need our troops over here right now. And instead, we're going to send them to America to get ready. May take a while, and depending on how quickly we can join in on the Weltkrieg, maybe we can reduce that justify time. I don't know, but we will see. In the meantime, something else I know I need to do is get ready for an invasion of the Home Isles, probably starting in Scotland from Norway, because it's only two sea tiles that I have to travel through, which means significantly less naval dominance required in order to begin my grand assault. We do also need to worry about the fact that the Swedish Commune exists. That's going to become a problem, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and start by setting up a quick front line along Sweden, probably here with the goal of basically pushing to Stockholm only. Take that out quick and I think they fall apart. But then we also need to set up some naval invasion orders from over here, landing around Edinburgh and Aberdeen as much as we can. So I'm thinking we probably land there. And we probably land over here. And all around, probably just head hit the port directly immediately. And go for something like that. Maybe one more group. So we can send 10 units in total out here ASAP. Yeah, we can try for something kind of like this, I think. Maybe not Aberdeen, we land here to be safe. Or over here even. Better. Yeah, okay. We try for that. And we can only send 10 at the moment. That's fine, though. We'll start by trying to land them here on the uh, the Marines on the port. And then the rest of you guys all go out over here. Okay. There we go. All right. So it's going to take a little time to prepare this, but this should be a pretty strong start. If I can get a foothold in uh, Scotland and hold this, then I can start making a push when the time comes. Justification of war in Portugal. Portugal is justifying on me? Pardon? What, um... The pink map. Oh, you're trying to justify on... Is that India? What the... What the... What are you... What are you doing? No, you're in my faction. You're not allowed to do that. That's gonna be really weird, but okay, we'll see what happens. Hey, what other decisions can we do? Well, we need to continue suppressing Quebec and Montreal. We should continue developing some resources where possible. Do we need to trade for this much tungsten? No, let's stop with that and start trading a bit of extra... Steel, make sure we are producing as much as we can. Revolution in the West Indies. This doesn't seem good. Mismanagement of the West Indies has finally become a flashpoint. The long suppressed socialist movement has been angered by recent upheavals. Syndicalists. <sighs> Declare war on the West Indies. My, my, my vassal state is breaking free. I even invested in you. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I can't lose stability over this. That seems stupid. All right, well, I'll declare war on them, but I'm not going to do anything about them for a while. They are small fries. That's when I have troops to spare. Then I'll worry about it. Hey, something else I want to do is go ahead and create a motorized division. We're going to duplicate you. And we're going to call these motorized art or something like that. That'll be fine. So the goal here is to replace some of the art, uh, tanks with artillery and then maybe a couple of extra motorized. Get these up to, let's say, 18 combat width plus some engineers, and maybe even logistics or something later if I can afford it. But we're going to go ahead and start making some of these divisions, because uh, even if they are nerfed, it's cheaper to make some of these than to continue making some tanks. And I need some fast-moving units, because if I am right about the United States being weak, then fast-moving units to exploit the super-long front lines means that I'll easily win the war and encircle whatever they've got. I'll just run literal circles around them. That's going to be the new goal. We'll see. The support for the king and uh, the British exiles is exceptionally low. That's going to be a problem. Project Plow is done, which means now I could go for a retaking of the home isles. 
But before we do that, let's go ahead and work on getting ourselves an intelligence agency so I can spy on them a little bit. That'll make my life easier, right? Get a bit of an intelligence boost. Ye? I think, I, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be very good. Um, no longer building a ship. What? No, that's not true. I'm building many ships at the moment. Many ships indeed. Uh, where are all my fleets, by the way? So these guys are in the Pacific. I'll ignore them. You guys are down there. We'll ignore you. These guys, however, need to get up over this away to get ready to escort and get as much naval dominance around the North Sea as possible because this is kind of my only opportunity to do so. We also have been building out a bunch of destroyers and subs. I should split these guys up first off. And then we're going to have you guys join up over here. And then these destroyers... You're really more of a patrol fleet, so we'll make you a little coastal fleet like this. We'll have these guys do some patrolling. We'll have them do some raiding. And then the big fleet will be my escort and bombard the frick out of the Shores fleet. That's what we're going to go for. Spotting speed, positioning, all of that seems good. We'll take you, I guess. Could also get you... Mine layer? No. Concealment? No. Go for enemy fleet size penalty reduction and recheat decision chance. That sounds bad, but if it looks like there's any chance that I'm going to lose a bunch of ships that are going to take forever to, um, to rebuild, I'd rather retreat. Rather than risk losing a large amount of troops. Just wouldn't make a lot of sense, right? I think not. Let's direct the exiles again. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and try to boost up the popularity of the Exiles again, since uh, we're probably going to need that in some way or another. Probably. A lot of troops starting to arrive up here in Norway. That'll be good. Oh, West Indies, why did you have to betray me like this? I tried, dang it. I tried to invest in you. I was being nice to you. I was doing everything I could. And you still betrayed me. Prepare for war! We've received words that India is preparing to attack. Good luck on that one. I got more important things to worry about. World War is about to break out any month now. World War II is going to break out. My goal is to knock out the Union of Britain fast. Ah, that complicates things a little bit. Um, knock out them fast. Knock out Sweden fast. And then turn my attention to surrounding Rome and taking out Italy. Then we can focus on the true enemy here, which is France. Russia, are you part of the Third International? You're not. You're part of the Eastern Front. I'm pretty sure you'll still join in on the war, but you're technically a different faction, which is a bit weird. Now Brazil joining. You know, on the plus side, I don't have to worry about defending the West Indies, though, because they're probably going to join the Third International themselves. It just means that when I do attack them, they're probably going to get a lot of reinforcements, which is going to suck. God, the Entente has a lot cut out for them right now. This is going to be, um... It's going to be very unpleasant, is what it's going to be. Very unpleasant. Hey, can we finish rebuilding some of these dang civilian factories? <laughs> It's taking a bit of a while, ain't it? I've, lo I've lost a lot. I've lost a lot over here. As far as my production, I think the one thing I'm currently missing is going to be more towed anti-air, but I don't think I can justify spending more factories on that. I want to get some more fighters, and then I want to start focusing on infantry equipment. Get better stats for my infantry, because they're going to be the bulk of my army. I never had the time to design a proper light tank and start mass producing it. We never got enough of an economy. I tried, but it wasn't enough. Contact loyalists. Modify our invasion focus by giving us invasion preparation time, invasion speed, and an attack and defense bonus, and intelligence. Yas, that sounds good. Railway gun is done. Um, we could try to become the spy master if I got a third improvement over here. We only have one right now, but I'm not sure that gets me a lot. Let's um, let's go over here to naval because we now should be able to take advantage of the landing craft boost. It still won't be fast enough really to make much difference in this war, probably. But on the off chance we can use it elsewhere, I want to have this on hand. And of course, we do have the ahead of time bonus. So that's certainly going to be very nice. As far as, let's say, some planes, uh, we should probably go ahead and send a few this direction. I'm thinking some fighters to start would be good. Send some of these guys out here. And do we have any sort of naval bombers? We have 10. Well, that's not going to amount to much, but I'll take what I can get, I suppose. Any of these guys who can help with some port strikes or anything like that would be good. But mostly I'm going to be using these planes to try and get me some semblance of air superiority over the North Sea. And the only reason I care about that is because technically I'll have more intelligence on the region, which makes me more likely to be able to launch the second I declare the war before they have a chance to redeploy their fleets to fight against me. That's the goal. Their fleets will be in the English Channel and probably around the Eastern North Sea. 
and probably the uh, Western approaches to defend over here. They probably won't have as much defending over here, hence why this is a perfect area to attack Norway. India has declared war against the commune. Good freaking luck with that one. I really hope that works out for you, bud. Because there's not a lot that I can do. Hello, Syria. Look at you go. Oh, you're going to be fun, aren't you? All right. Uh, I'm getting another phone call. This keeps happening. People need to stop calling me. Give me a second. Sorry, so frustrating. All right, anything else we can do? Yes, continue to suppress. We'll address the Entente. Let's get some war support up. We're going to need that. I'd love to get oil. Can't do that until we have oil processing. Legislate freedoms? Not something I'm able to do, and not something I think I would want to do, to be honest. Eh, whatever. We'll ignore some of that for the moment. Uh, I'm just waiting for that beautiful Second World War to begin. That looks like it's going to be it right there. The Alsace Ultimatum. After months of low-intensity skirmishes on the German and French border. Yup, alright, this is about to turn into a thing. Uh, we can send some more political power somewhere. Let's send it to... South Africa. That seems fine. I don't think I've done them yet. Do we click the button now and get ready for this? Because it takes 30 days, and I'm pretty sure we need it. Let's click the button. Because the World War is about to be... There's the World War. Alright, Second Weltkrieg begins! France versus Germany. More violence in Montreal. Stop it! Hey, we can get ourselves a well-groomed seducer who does have double British nationality and Canadian. You're perfect. We'll take you. And let's start getting some intel on the Union of Britain that we can use against them. I hope. Maybe. That's what I'm going for, anyway. Let's take a look at our fleets. So, um, you guys, both of you need an admiral. Anybody with, like, a visibility thing? Spotting speed doesn't do me much good. Blockade runner, capital ship armor... Submarine attack, you'll do fine. We'll do some convoy raiding around the North Sea and the Western Approaches. You guys are going to be doing patrol missions. So we'll take, let's say, some spotting speed, I think. Or positioning, but I think you'll be okay. You're going to be doing patrol in both of these areas. And then you, my Giganto fleet, will do... Naval invasion support so we can land here quickly, then I'll probably send you on to like a strike fleet or something. This is going to cost me a lot of oil, but if it works, it's worth it. That's what we're going for. What is this, by the way? We have another sub and another destroyer finished. We'll take the sub. Hang on. Take the sub, add you over here. Take the destroyer, add you over here. Okay. Should have plenty of screens on the big ship, I believe. I think we'll be all right on that front. How are you on trade resources? A little bit low on rubber, but otherwise not that bad. Everything comes down to this whole retaking of the home isles thing. I'm a little scared of this. It all comes down to this. We either succeed or we lose our run right here. Because I don't think with my Entente extremely um, distracted, we're gonna be able to do much more. I am hoping that we can knock out um, Sweden quickly. Maybe if I tighten up my forces here, we can go for a really strong push. Go for Stockholm fast, I don't know. But we'll see. Oh, really wish Italy hadn't joined, but that was gonna happen no matter what. I'm not really surprised. Notice that Portugal's either finished justifying on me or they're not going to anymore. France declares war on Chad. Denmark joins the Reichsbox. That works for me. And we've contacted Loyalists just in time to get some free bonuses against Britain. I like that a lot. Uh, infantry motorization, we could go for infantry weapons upgrades. Um, alternatively, go for an electronics boost and then go for a 10% research speed bonus. I think it's time to do that. 1940 usually ends up being a really important year for research, so the faster we can catch up on that, probably the better. Still haven't finished training up some of these units. Um, world tension's high. Let's go ahead and start justifying against the United States now. And we'll say Pittsburgh is the goal. I don't really care. Alright, so this is going to take 110 days. I don't think... Because these guys are not in a faction with a world power, I don't think it will speed up justifying once I declare war and I'm at war with a major power faction, but I could be wrong on that. Still, 110 days is fine. We'll go for it. There goes my uh, bonuses for my navy. Mm, unfortunate timing. Wish that had held out two weeks longer, but oh well. What's all hands on deck? Okay, I get, okay, I get it. I get it. The Russian Republic is now involved. Uh, if we're at war with the Union of Britain, we get recruitable population 2%. That seems good. Yeah, let's save up 50. 2% more, that's great. Call to arms against... Chad. Sure. Go have fun against India and stuff. I don't care. Russia intervenes. Yep. Alright, so Russia and the Reichsbach are now at war on the eastern and the western front. Austria 
federalized into a really big state, really big state, with only Bulgaria on their faction, but that's fine. They often defend Germany. We'll see if they do get involved in this. I kind of hope they do, because that's a good counter to Italy. And I guess Switzerland is communist as well. Socialist, syndicalist, whatever. All those things. Join wars. Yes. You all may join in on this if you want. That's fine. Don't get too excited, though, because this is about to turn into something way bigger than that. We have 100% world tension. Cool. Oh, Canada. Long live the king. Get some more support. That's good timing. Please tell me we can win this. All right. War's about to begin. There it is. All right. Go, go, go. We don't have time to wait. Norway, I need you to join in on this quickly as well. Second Veltkrieg, you're in. We have to get you to join so I can quickly take out Sweden before they call in all their friends. Fall of Munich. Did you join? I think you may have joined. Sweden hasn't been called in yet, but they probably will. Austria joins the Reichsbach. They just disbanded their own faction. That works. We have interdeemed. Okay, good. A lot of other folks just got called in. Hopefully we don't find ourselves in a really big surprise later. All hands on deck! The popularity of the monarch rises. Hey! People like what they see. We'll pick this guy as well since he has double nationality. Less likely to get detected. Go ahead and spy. Uh, so we are now at war against Sweden. So the question is... How quickly... Can you guys... Push through there? With... Fairly low-ish supply. If the answer is quick, we can knock Sweden out. If the answer is slow, we're going to get surrounded. I'm going to lose a lot of troops and I'll be very upset. But I need to try to knock these guys out quick so we can send them to Scotland. Because this is going to be a little bit tight. Alright, so let's see how the naval invasion goes. We've already encountered some of their ships, but my subs are intercepting them. There's not very many. So that'll work. We're escorting them pretty effectively, I hope. Yep, alright, that's right. You run away. You run from me. We're landing in Edinburgh. Which, by the way, why is it pronounced Edinburgh? Come on, that looks like Edinburgh. Or Edinburgh, at the very least. But Burra? It's like an extra syllable. Scottish things, I don't know. Non-aggression pact from Austria. Nee. Don't think I need to do that. Alright, so we've got this. So this is good. Now we need to go for a quick surround on some stuff. First off, all of you are assigned here. You guys hit the cavalry. You guys head this way. You need to assist here. One of you need to assist here. You need to get over this way, grab another port, and set up a narrow line to try and defend in only three provinces, if possible. What are we landing on here? What is this? I think this is... This is really far away from where I'm actually hitting them, but that's fine. So if we can attack from multiple directions, we should be able to win this quickly. I hope. I hope and I pray. We should be able to grab this, right? Um, one of you turn around, grab Aberdeen in another port. Because more supply is going to be important. He's already trying to stop me. This is going to be a problem. we got to react fast. Okay, turn around. Head to Glasgow. Grab this. You hold this. You stop. Head back down here. We've got to join our lines up. we got to join them fast. Okay, all this is messed up again. Hang on. All of you are supposed to do this. You guys get over here. You guys get down here fast. Why don't you go here? You're fine. Keep doing what you're doing. The rest of you can join up with something like this. We need reinforcements. Uh, Big Fleet. Hi, how you doing? You're going to go on Strike Force. We're trying to make that push. We'll see what happens. Um, some of you turn around and get over here now. Forget this. We don't have supply anyway. Though I do think we should narrow this front line considerably. Really hoping we can make this work. It sure looks like we should be able to. He doesn't have a ton of troops. He's kind of spread out. In a weird way. Get to Fallen. Maybe we can do this. Some of you head down south. Hit over there. Follow railroads if you can. I just need victory points. This is what I care about. Victory points. All of them. Okay, you go south down to Stockholm, take that quickly. Got that. So far good, so far good. We're gonna get Stockholm for sure, we're now cut off, that's dangerous. 
Get over there. Both of you are heading to Stockholm. You'll get it. How close is Stockholm to getting out of this? Sorry, Sweden. Uh, they're pretty close, but they still got a fair bit. Gothenburg now needs to be the next goal. Uh, this is going to be a pretty tough front line to push through, though. Let's see what we can do with that. My new infantry are done there. Good. Uh, we captured a dockyard, apparently. I'll go ahead and keep producing subs, I guess. We still don't have access to sub threes. How are we doing over here? Okay, some of these guys are not going where I need them to. You get up here. Okay, we're holding this line, I think. Some of this got messed up. Do something like that. These guys are not going to have much in the way of supply anymore, I think. In fact, I don't even think they have any. This isn't technically connected. So these guys are going to get no supply now that I control the port, which means they're going to start dying. I'm going to use you to pin this guy down so he doesn't take this. I want to control the railway real quick. Shouldn't be hard. And now he can exhaust himself. I don't care. Okay, so we should be able to support ourselves. We've got our naval invasion of the north. How on earth are the anarchists still not dead? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, there aren't much of there aren't many victory points that I can take. Okay, I'm a little bit scared of what we've done here in Sweden. Um, we need to push down this way. Need you guys to get down here. Yeah, both of you that way. You can try to keep these guys pinned if you want. Hold them off of Stockholm. My fear is these guys are about to push down here and give us a lot of trouble. But we'll see. Looks like he's got some motorized and stuff that aren't really ready for me. Go down this way. Follow the railroad. Get to Gothenburg. However you say that, I don't know. Serbia is gone. Okay. Okay. So, U.S. does have some troops, but from what numbers I'm seeing here, it still doesn't look like much. We should be able to handle that. How long until we can kill you? Long ways. Long ways to go. Okay, these guys aren't out of supply. They still have a little bit, technically. Let's see if we can start pushing them back. Give them a little bit of pain. Get up over here. Make sure that this doesn't technically provide them any support. Got some unread naval battles. Looks like we were able to sink quite a bit. Thank you, Strike Fleet, for doing your thing. Destroyed some of their escorts. Destroyed a whole bunch of ships for Sweden and some of the Russians. One of you get up over here. We're going to try to hit him from a different direction. They have troops around here with the border of Denmark, but it looks like Denmark actually managed to grab some points, so that's good. Okay, still trying here. Getting closed off a little bit. Getting worried. They managed to re-grab a point here, which I don't like. I need to try to retake that. You sit tight for a second. Hold your ground. We got a submarine snorkel. Cool. Don't have the subs yet, but someday that'll be good. Let's go for an upgrade to my artillery. Wish I had motorized so we can move a lot faster here. German Empire declares war on Lithuania. Why? What did Lithuania ever do to you? I don't know the answer, but they did. They did something. Vilnius uprising. Okay. You hit from this direction as well. The faster we burn this down, the better. We have electronics. I'm going to send you down here. Let's go for the University of Ottawa, which gets me a 10% booster. Contact the British Loyalists, get me 125,000 military power, and also create seven divisions of Loyalists in Northern Scotland. Yes! hey -o, boyos! The Scots have arrived! <laughs> I love it! Love what I'm seeing here. This is this is great. Okay, you guys hit them. We got, we got Mountaineers! It's the Highlanders! Yeah! This is excellent. All right, well, now we got the troops. Now we should be able to solidify Scotland for sure, right? Gothenburg is going to be a little bit tricky for me to grab. They me re-grab Fallon. Oh, God. I don't know if I can finish these guys off fast enough, to be honest. Well, we can certainly knock out their railroads, which is going to hurt their supplies. I need Denmark to help me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
He's retreating from Gothensburg. This is good. Hang on. Get in there. Get it. Maybe we can take this out. Maybe we can take it out. Oh, come on. He's got tanks. Help me, Norway. Help! Alright. Uh, we definitely can't take this, but that's fine. Get down here. Grab all that. No, you keep hitting where you were, and you're fine. This is going to give me a lot of extra troops to work with. Come on, we're really close. My infantry can handle it. Got it. All right, hang on. Come on, Sweden. I really can't afford to waste more time on you. I need you to go. Gosh, dang it, they're so close. 91%? What am I missing? Just these victory points is all I know of. Anything up to the north? Ah, all the way up over here. Hang on. Um, I need you guys to now do something like this. And your goal is to encircle these units and then push up to Fallon and then hopefully with not many troops left, they'll be fine. I don't have to go kill the Union of Britain immediately. I got some time. We do need to continue suppressing um, Montreal. Why are these guys not gone yet? Well, they will be soon enough. IEDC, um, I will invest a little bit. I'll go into the negative here. It's not too bad. Advisors, we'll go for factory output. The more you invest, usually the better it's going to be, obviously, but... C'est la vie. Okay. I'll join all you guys up. I need my supply. Grab all that. These guys are finished. That's good. Okay. Okay. This has gone swimmingly so far. The Scots have been very, very helpful. Scottish loyalists, though, to the British crown? Somehow that doesn't feel right, you know what I mean? Somehow that doesn't feel very realistic. Um, let's start pushing up this way. Get to Fallon. You get up to the coast. And just start pushing. Take anything you can from Sweden. Anything that you can, and I mean it. Can we push up over here? They have very little supply to work with, because their capitals have had to be all reworked. He's now sending troops up here to try and retake Scotland. Which I guess isn't surprising, but it is annoying. He got Scotland. Is that a naval invasion you just did? No, 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 no. You're not allowed to do that. Absolutely not. Help finish these guys off. Ugh, this is a mess. I don't like it. I don't like what's happening in Sweden, but it's alright. It's alright. Um, all these new troops. Scottish volunteers. You create a new army. Make a yellow. And you set up here. Your goal, just hold this front line while I figure the heck out what else I want to do. Push down toward Liverpool and such, obviously. Could do a little hopscotch naval invasion and try to land around here instead, since I seem to actually have some naval dominance for once. Hey, motorized, we'll take you. I'm gonna send you down to California. Because it's not unusual for these to turn into important victory points for them. So take Los Angeles, take San Francisco. That's gonna be a big hit. Make you green, I guess. Give you army. I don't really care who it is, you'll be fine. And these lines are all messed up, as they often are. Whatever, it's fine. Just get the troops in position, we'll be okay. Alright, let's see. Um, all my troops are in position. There's definitely some Americans, but nowhere near enough to hold this front line. Nowhere near enough. The Germans are taking some pretty serious hits, and this scares me a bit. The Austrians are not enough to support them. I just got cut off. Are you... No, never mind, I'm sorry. For some reason, I thought for a second I was blue. I'm not blue. I'm blue and dab and dee dab and die! So, we lost Stockholm. This is, by the way, the reason I don't like fighting Sweden. Um, it's not unusual for this sort of thing to happen. Because Sweden has, like, the perfect, like, lack of victory points where you need to hit every single one they own. They don't have enough major cities for enough victory points to outright win the war. Which gets very frustrating. Very frustrating very quick. These troops are all arriving over here, and to be honest, this is not a very strong showing from the Union of Britain. If I could send some more troops over here, we could finish them off. I'm quite certain of that. 
I'm surprised Denmark isn't doing more with this. I feel like they should be able to. Go ahead and finish these guys off. They don't have much left. We can clear this out easily. Lendlease? I'll take whatever you got. Sure. The only thing I'm lacking right now is anti-air, which is a very good sign. And having at least a handful of motorized will make my life easier, too. Okay, I just need to finish this. How long until we can kill the U.S.? Not much longer. About halfway. Okay. Halfway, and we have to pray the U.S. doesn't suddenly flood, like, 40 more divisions. Because if there's anyone who can rebuild quickly, it's the U.S. Once that's taken care of, take the U.S., take Sweden, take Britain. We turn our attention to Italy and France. And we will finish this thing, and we'll also take out South America for good measure. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. So I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.